Okay, I'm making this video for you, Mike. Well, not lipo. This is the layout. It's very similar, but all of your connections will be made in the front. And the, the lipo battery. That's your main battery leads. That's the balance uh, connector for the two batteries. You also have to get a balance card that you need to plug in. And you'll be plugging into the two cell right there. So I actually got my velcro it down. Plug it in. And you'll have the, you need to find the right connector. That's a Dean's plug. You'll be using the EC3, which is a blue plug. But again, mine's on the side here. Yours will be in the front. I plug it in. And as soon as the power's up, you'll, you'll see that. So you just gonna go over here to start to see. You may not come up in the lipo, you might be, come somewhere else. So you, this will give a little example. We can do a, a battery voltage. And you hit the enter button. And uh, each cell in there is 3.89, 3.88. I'm going to exit out. And I'm going to keep scrolling. Until I see the light bar I want. I don't, you, you can do your NICAD. The other batteries. Right there is the one you need. Hit enter. Now, it's at a balance charge, that's what you need to do. Um, when you're done running and put the battery away, you're going to have to, whoops. go to storage then you you go to 2s you just either up or down 2s then i can't remember if your battery is 5000 or 5200 milliamps but you just keep enter till you get the right amount it was let's just say it's 5200 and it'll put Oops. You can actually do it at 5200. That's one C rating. Oh, it's only five. Oh, that's why it's doing this one's too small. Um so you go to max of five. Hit enter. Hold it down. And since it's already in storage mode, I'm good. But I'm going to go ahead and charge it because I'm going to run a car. I don't want... I'm going to do a balance charge. I always want to do a balance charge. Um, just not the charge. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my setup. As you see, mine's a 22... 2200 and it's a 2c uh, hit the enter button 2s 2 cell I'll take it down 2200 and it puts it right current at 1c charge here and I'll hold enter down and it'll start charging It'll tell you how many milliamp hours it puts in and how long. And it'll tell you when it's done.